In chapter 4, we learned about the relationship between force and acceleration. Forces cause acceleration. More specifically, unbalanced forces cause acceleration. And we defined acceleration as any change in velocity, whether we're speeding something up, slowing something down, or changing its direction. Well, in chapter 8, we're looking at momentum and impulse. And it turns out that forces cause changes in momentum as well. Okay, so forces cause acceleration, which is a change in velocity. And if the velocity is changing, the momentum must also be changing. So anytime you see a change in momentum, there is some unbalanced force that's causing that to happen. So let's look here at case A. We have a car slowing down from 50 miles per hour to 40 miles per hour while coasting. Momentum is mass times velocity. And certainly the velocity changed, so the momentum changed. So that's a yes. So there must have been some force to cause that to happen. We think about the car as the system. So we think about what things are touching the car and the road is touching the car. And so it turns out it is static friction from the road pushing on the tires. All right, in case B, we have a ball traveling at 20 meters per second to the right, hits a wall, and it's going 20 meters per second to the left just after leaving the wall. So you look at this and you might say, okay, well, the mass of the ball didn't change and it's going 20 meters per second before and after. However, the velocity did change because velocity is a vector it was moving at 20 meters per second to the right, and now it's moving at 20 meters per second to the left. So the momentum is a lot different. It has changed by a huge amount, and so that is a change in momentum. What caused that to happen? Well, it's pretty obvious if you think about the ball as the system. What caused the ball's momentum to change? The wall did. Case C, we have a car moving at 20 miles per hour to the west, gets hit from behind by a truck, and that speeds up the car. So that is a change in momentum. And what caused it? The truck did. The truck pushed on the car. All right, case D, we've got a car moving at 40 miles per hour west, takes an exit ramp at a constant speed and is now going 40 miles per hour north. Is this a change in momentum? Absolutely. Just like in case B, it's the same speed but a different velocity because of the direction, uh, because of the direction change. Some force had to have caused this. Um, if we think about an icy road, if the, if the exit ramp were covered with a sheet of ice, as I remember from um, a, a trip that I took with my parents when I was little, we encountered something similar to that. And it turns out that you can't turn if, the, if there's no friction. So it is friction causing that. Static friction from the road on the tires causes that change in momentum to occur. So remember, forces cause changes in, mom in momentum. To take it one step further, you're going to learn about impulse. Impulse is the force multiplied by the time that the force is applied. Impulse is the force times the time the force is applied. So the longer you apply a force, the more you can change the momentum of something. 